Hello, everybody. Welcome back once again to this Monday Mindset Check. My name is Jeremy, and I want to thank you for joining me on this Groove First Culture podcast for the new week. Hopefully, this new week is starting off good for you, or whenever it is you're listening to this, but I appreciate your time, and we'll get right into what I'm here to talk about today. So, like most of these kind of Monday topics, it's just something I kind of have came across and probably most likely some some podcasts that I've listened to, but just something that has came to mind and has really been something I've been thinking about for several days now. And that is, and this is really just the topic, but we'll I'll kind of explain more. But it all starts slash stops with me. And so, you know, my thoughts behind that, and and that's why I am here today is, you know, we all have a story and, and really that's, that's the most important part of who we are. It, It is who we are. It's, it's what made us, you know, it's the, the history of family history, the events we've lived through, you know, all all of these huge, huge details of our lives have created who we are. And so part of that is, of course, you know, where we came from, our, our family, our, the generations past of our family. And so what I mean by it all starts and stops with me is, is, the idea that you hear a lot about, you know, I, I can't help it. I, I come from a long history of so-and-so or, you know, it's just part of my family that blank, blank, blank is, is that's just part of who we are. Or you, you hear lots of great stories about people, you know, I was the first in my family to ever graduate high school or the first in my family to ever graduate college or the first in my family to to do you know this or that whatever it is and so that's kind of the the basis of my thinking for today and and what we'll sit here and just kind of think as far as as where we're at personally and before i get started you know i, I sat here for five or 10 minutes before I push record, just kind of thinking about my story, thinking about where I am at, where, where I came from, my family history. And, and I realized, you know, I've, I need to spend some more time in this topic, you know, really looking inside and, and seeing what this can benefit me. And so that being said, I, you know, I, I don't have a lot of complaints about how I grew up, you know, my family. I love my family. We're obviously not perfect. You know, I grew up thinking we were because everything seemed to be great because it, it's a great family. You know, yes, we have struggles. Yes, we have people that are dealing with a lot of stuff troubles and trials and you know everything everything that every other family has we have it but growing up I didn't ever see that I didn't see that till I was you know older and and maybe that was by design from my my parents and you know aunts and uncles and things like that but you know I just didn't see it I felt loved I felt like our family was very very close and they they were and they still are so that being said, yes, there are definitely some things that I want to, to not fall into that, that others in my family have. You know, there are things that I want to be somebody that doesn't do that. So, so I, want, I want certain things to stop at me. I, 
I don't really have the opportunity to be the first in a lot of things. I mean, I, I, I that's what I'm saying is I've got to sit and think about, you know, what, are there any areas that, that I need to, to maybe use as some inspiration for myself to say, Hey, I want to be the first in my family to do this. Are there maybe some areas that I'm, I don't really think about that I need to stop and say, Hey, I, I want to be the first person in my family that stops this. It stops with me. And so that's, that's kind of just a a little personal note before I dig any further is this is like a lot of these topics, something that I need to look into more myself as well. And like most of them, again, I am sitting here talking to myself literally and figuratively because these are all things that Usually if I'm bringing them up, it's because they're weighing on me pretty heavy or there's something that I've really been thinking about or something that I know I need to think about. And so anyway, I feel like it, it kind of, it's a good thing because if I need to hear it, if I need to think about it, then there's probably some people out there that need to as well. So just kind of getting back to where I started, you know, we all have a story and that's, that's the fun part of life, you know, that learning people's stories, figuring out, you know, how they got where they are. And, you know, I, I've not dug in a lot as far as my podcast goes with past guests is with, with their stories and, and kind of digging in deeper into who they are and how they became who they are. But, and, and this is another thought that I've had on, on my way into work this morning is, you know, I, I think I'm, I think I'm more likely to head that direction. I, I just feel like I'm evolving right now. And, and what I'm talking about right now is just as, you know, a person that is hosting this little show or, and, and having interviews of people, I feel like that is a piece of me that, that is evolving. And it's not the only piece there. there I, I'm evolving in, in lots of other areas and that's good. I think that's, that's what we need to be striving for is constantly evolving, constantly changing, constantly getting better. But just as far as this one topic goes, you know, and, and it's really due to a couple of the, the last conversations that I've had with, with guests is that's kind of where I want to head. I want to start sharing these stories. Yes, it's great to hear people's idea on leadership and, and culture and you know all the other great conversations that I've had. And, and the, there's literally not one conversation I've had that I didn't get something out of personally, that I didn't truly enjoy. But I feel like maybe I'm just kind of scratching the surface of, of some of these things, you know, maybe I'm not digging in the, the right areas to, to really get to where I need to be. So, you know, that's definitely something that is on my mind and something that I am going to be probably focusing on getting better at. It's, it's not going to come natural. I'm not, great at you know I'm just not a great conversationalist so that being said yes that makes me a perfect podcast host I I understand (laughs) I'm being sarcastic but I I know that that's probably something I need to start getting better at and and something that I can start using as a way to better add value to others lives and so anyway that that will be something I'm focused on, but, but that's, isn't that why we're all here? You know, our, our history, the stories that, that we have lived through the circumstances that we have faced the trials, the challenges that we have encountered and defeated, you know, all of these things make us who we are. And so when you're digging down to even a deeper kind of a deeper place in all this is 
even before that. And, and that's where I'm kind of getting at is, is that past, that history, things that you don't even have any control of. You know, everything I've talked about to that point is, is stuff that you have lived through, things that you have encountered, things that you have either failed or accomplished, defeated, whatever. But we're talking about farther back. We're talking about you know, generations, your, your dad, your grandpa, your great grandpa, your mom, your, your just on down the line. And some of these things are good and some of them are bad. And so that's kind of why we need to, to spend some time thinking about it. You know, my kids have got some family history stuff that I pray that they do not inherit. I pray that they are the ones that this particular thing stops with them. Because if it doesn't, it's going to be a very hard life for them. And so I hope for them that they say, this stops with me. And my wife and I have had numerous, countless conversations with them about this. You know, who your parents are, who your grandparents are, who any of your family members are, does not make you who you are. And that's kind of the subtitle I would say of this episode is, is it starts or stops with me. But no matter what my parents have choose to, to do, no matter who my parents are, grandparents are, no matter who my family is, what they've done, good, bad, it doesn't matter because I get to choose. I get to choose who I am. I get to choose what I do today. I get to choose if this bad thing that has plagued my family for decades or generations, I get to choose if it stops with me. I get to choose if you know something that my family has never achieved, if I get to be the first one to do it. If, if that's something that I want to fight for, I get the choice to be that one that fights for that. And so that is what I am digging into today. What is there in your life that you can say, enough is enough. This stops with me. What is in your life that, you know, you just have never achieved as a family. Nobody in your, your family has achieved it or nobody, nobody in your friend circle or nobody in your department. You know, this doesn't have to necessarily be a family thing. This can, this could be applied to any circle that you're in. You know, what has nobody in your department achieved that you want to be the first, you want to be the start of it. You know, is it a, a fitness program, you know, your department has never had a fitness program, but you're passionate about fitness. Start doing the work, start putting in effort to get that accomplished. Is it going to be easy if you're talking about a fitness program in a fire department? Probably not, but that makes it even more important. If it's something that's never been done and you feel a passion to make it happen, then Make that challenge to yourself. I will be the first to start this. And so kind of going the opposite direction, you know, if, if you want to just look at it at the department level or friends or, or whatever circle, like I said about, you know, the starting, what is there about your department or about your friends that you want to say no more this stops here you know i if if we want to look at it at, at that level you know i discussed a little bit about my family but if you want to look at it you know as a kind of comparative with the department kind of mindset you know there are a lot of things going on right now in my department that i don't like i hate 
that bother me that that make it hard to come to work some days but kind of unknowingly i have decided that it stops with me and no i have not figured out how to truly make it stop what i can do in the meantime is i can not be involved in it i can take myself out of the situation that i don't like i can remove myself i can remove my involvement and in whatever's going on that i don't like that's that's easy we all can do that you know making changes stopping things starting things you know those could be hard they can be time you know take a lot of time they could they could take a lot of energy those are different things that you're going to have to just work through but right now this very second without hardly any effort you can remove yourself from bad situations that you don't feel are appropriate if you have a lot of rumors being spread don't involve yourself in it if if that's where the conversation's going if if you need to just get up and leave if if you have negativity running rampant through your department or your crew then just remove yourself from it that's an easy fix you know is that going to fix the problem no absolutely not you know it's going to take you standing up and speaking up for that positivity or or for you know making things better and that's kind of what i'm working on right now i i have not found that balance yet it's easy for me to just not involve myself in those conversations or to just walk away or to just kind of you know stay away but i haven't necessarily found the i'm trying to think of the right word i i i have not found the appropriate level of activity that i need to do to make some changes you know i i have tried i have failed a lot of that has to do with i am not holding the accountability towards those things so like all things that i talk about it's it's failing right now because i am not putting the appropriate amount of effort into it the appropriate amount of accountability the appropriate amount of force so that will have to change if i want to make changes but in the meantime i can at least take myself out of those situations and i can at least remove those things from my life you know if it's uh, i've talked on the podcast several times about just kind of my mission to remove negativity because i just i have no i just have no taste for it anymore i'm i just i'm sick of it it does me no good the the things that i can't control letting them control me i'm just tired of it and so that has kind of been a kind of an unspoken personal mission for me is just removing myself from those situations just not involving myself in those situations i want to be the person that starts a movement of positivity so hopefully you kind of understand kind of where i'm coming from yes this this is and and it started in my mind as a family thing you know what what of your family what parts of your family do you want to st stop the history what parts of your family do you want to start a new history but as really as i sit here and and talk about it 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 just it flows through life and it is very applicable to the firehouse right now and so i think it's a great conversation to be had i think it's a great introspection to be sitting and 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 using on yourself to see areas that you don't approve of that that you want to stop with you 
and see areas that need good changes or, or that need to be started that, that you want to start with you. So I think it's a great topic. I, as always, I just, I never really know how I transfer my thoughts into words. I hope that some of this kind of speaks to you. Hope that I made enough sense that you can kind of get where I'm going with this and, and get something, something out of it. So I will leave you with those thoughts and I, I hope that you have a great week. Look forward to seeing you back on Thursday. And just remember, it doesn't matter what's going on right now. It doesn't matter what has happened in the past. We're talking days, months, years, decades, generations. You are right now in a place that you can make a change. You can make a challenge to yourself that this particular thing stops with me. You can challenge yourself that this particular thing is going to start with me because I am going to step up today and I am going to start doing something about it. And so I hope that I can challenge you all with that this week. Kind of think of some things that can fall into those categories for you. I will be definitely thinking about these things as well. And so, like I said, I hope you have a great week. I hope you are doing some good things this new year. I, I hope that, that things are going well for you and, and that you can just stay positive, start focusing on everything that's good and start forgetting and ignoring the bad because there's a lot of good out there. So let's stick together. Let's brace each other up, push each other forward and keep getting better every day. Thank you. Until next time, stay safe and take care of each other.